And then do a bit this way. Yeah. <laughs> it's just going. It just goes. Yeah, that's hilarious. Hang on. Go there. Do it. Wind. Do it again. Yeah, see, you, that shot there, it shows you it just disappearing, disappearing off. off into the trees. Now, at that point, I had a fully checked out. I was like, no, nope, these don't work. They're useless. Sending them back. Pointless video. Why are we even out here? Until I looked at the photos, I got them off the camera and edited them, and oh my holy ghost, these are sick. So what we did, we used it outdoor with very, very minimal wind. So the fact that it was just being swept away so easy was very disappointing. We were out there for what, 20 minutes? And we used a full can. Like that's how much you use in such a short amount of time. And especially outdoors as well, where it's just flying away. So you have to keep topping up. Now you might be thinking, why not just use it indoors? Is Surely indoors is the best place for this. Personally, in my experience, if you take a look at these photos that I did with the spray and the Formula One car, you can't really tell that there's even any smoke on there, and I, I, I blasted it. Now, I think that's down to using soft lights and in a controlled environment. Now, if I was using harsh light in a really open area like we did on the very first shoot, then that's where it's going to shine. L simply because there's just harsh light and you can see all the rays whereas in soft light it just makes it look like steady smoke and it's just not effective so what i've done is i've put together a short segment so that you can see with smoke and without smoke in a contained environment with soft slash semi harsh lights yep now walk in As you can see with video like it clearly doesn't look like atmosphere it just looks like I've sprayed smoke or vaped so it's not like the best for video however for photos like we did on the very first at the beginning of the video yeah it works an absolute treat so photo over video outdoors over indoors I think there's better alternatives for certain uses for this, like an actual smoke machine would be a million times better, but this is in a can, it goes in the side of your bag, you can take it wherever you need. The only reason that you would probably buy one of these is the convenience factor, like if you're not going to go out and buy like a smoke machine for like a 10 minute shoe, where you could just order this, get it delivered next day if it's on Amazon, 16 quid, just spray it around, jobs are good and So in conclusion. I think if you're a photographer that's semi bored or you're looking for new things to try that aren't expensive, this is definitely something you should pick up. Try it, have fun, create what you can with it. It's cool. I mean, the photos from the beginning just looked amazing. So it's definitely a cool product when it works. So there you have it, atmosphere in a can. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the stuff you already love to do. I will see you in the next one. Sithy.